Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can uh, order data or uh, filter data or find and replace data in uh, Access Database using these uh, tool icons here. And I have also given you a little introduction how to create a form with your database. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and design your form so that it it will look interactive for example I will sh show you how you can add buttons to your form or how you can add charts to your form so let's get started we already have this data uh, which we have created in the first video right and uh, I have also shown you in the last video how you can create a form what you need to do is you need to go to this create tab and you can select this form button and it will give you the form like this so let's create a form which is a different form from this and we will try to design our form according to uh, our ourselves right so let's design a form okay so once again we are in create tab and this time we need to go to this more forms here and we will use this time form wizard to create a form so just click this form wizard and in here you can select the columns you want to show in the form suppose if you want to show all the columns just click this button or otherwise if you want to to not you don't want to include some column you can just select the column and just click this one arrow button here and it will go here so whatever fields are here will be shown in the form and whatever fields are here will not be shown in the form so for example i want to show all the fields in the form okay so i will just select this and click next and here you can decide which uh, type of form you want to show or which you want to make there are four types you which you can uh, decide with first is called columnar which is a default uh, form type second is tabular third is a data sheet and fourth is called justified I'm going to uh, choose this default columnar uh, uh, layout and I will click next and in here you can choose the design you want to give to your form you can uh, change the design or the layout at the runtime but yeah you can choose your style from here so when you click here you can see different design and whatever design suits your uh, needs you can just select the design okay for example right now i'm choosing this equity style and i will click next and this here will ask you whether you want to open the form to view or enter information otherwise you can design your form first which we are going to do so i will select this radio button modify the form design and i want to save uh, this form with the name employee info form for example okay and make sure this is selected modify the forms design and i will click finish here and now we are in design mode here you can do a lot of designing stuff so what you can do here is you can for example you want to change the background color of these boxes you can just select all the box right click it and fill background you can select this fill background I will choose uh, this light green color for example and you see here it's changed and similarly you can change these uh, labels also 
so I will select all these labels I will right click and I will choose for these labels a little bit darker color for example like this okay so this is just an example you can choose your colors and design your form as you wish you can also resize these uh, columns and text boxes like this or you can just select all these values and right click and you can align them on the left right top for example I want to align them on the top I select them Th these are already on the top let's align them on the left no it's not moving and on the bottom for example so it it aligns itself it's already aligned so it's not aligning you can change the size to fit or to grid or to uh, uh, tallest shortest for example I choose to fit and it will fit uh, to the your uh, word which are there in the text boxes or labels right and for example what I want now I will go to uh, the layout view so to change the views you just go click this button and I will go to the layout view and I can see how my design is uh, looking and I want to for example change the font size I will once again go to the design view I can move this title wherever I want so for example first of all I change the font size and font size will be for example 26 I can make it bigger so it can fit and I want to make it in the middle okay once again I will go to the layout view and in here also you can uh, uh, add some more things for example we have chosen uh, some design in uh, in the initial stages of this form and we are creating this form you can change these designs by navigating these design patterns like this like this so for example I like this so uh, I change I can change my design of the form in addition I can add date and time to my form so when I click this date and time and I can choose the format I want to show I only want to show the date for example I don't want to show the time I will click uncheck this and I will just leave this as default and I will click OK and you can see here date is included in the form now for example I also want to, to change the font color I can change it to white and I want to make it bold and little bit bigger 20 so I can do it like this make it smaller little bit and drag and drop here okay you can also add a logo by clicking here just click here and choose your logo and you can show it on the title here but since I don't have any logo right now I'm not adding it but yeah this logo also uh, is also here so you can change it now for example once again we go to the design view for example uh, you want to add buttons so what I will do is in my design view I have this uh, tool called button I will click this and I will place my button here and here it will give me a custom button wizard and I, what I can do is I can add these buttons so for example I want to add a save button or add new record I will go to the record operation and I will uh, select this add new record I will click next and I will change I don't want to use the picture for example so I will choose this uh, 
text and I can change this text from here. Right now, I think this text is okay for me, so I will not change, but you can change this text from here. Click next and you can give the name to your button also so that you remember it. I will simply uh, give the name add record for example okay and click finish so this is your add record button in the same way for example i want to add save button i will click this and place this button here once again go to the record operation select save record and next i will choose text and i will click next and i will give the name to it save and i will finish it and this gives me the save record right now for example you want to change the style of these two buttons what you can do is you can just select uh, any uh, text box here you can just click this button here and just apply this style to this button in the same way I will just make it bigger so save record we can say save record once again for add record and like this okay and for example I want to align these button I can just select both of them right click and what I will do is I will go to the layout and I will say stake. So this are uh, stakes. Now, for example, I want to enter or add uh, some more button for next or navigate my data. I can add it those button also. Go to the button, add it here, and I will say record navigation. First of all, I will select the uh, the first record next this time I will choose this picture because this looks nice and I will click next give the name for example first first record okay so in the same way you, you can add uh, some more buttons one this time I will choose the next button and I will next finish once again the last button and it next finish and once again the which previous record okay and finish and then I can arrange these buttons like this so it look like a navigation bar kind of a thing okay so like this and you can give the layout tabular or stack layout stack okay so whatever you want to give like this so uh, I think this is okay for me now for example you want to add a chart to your form what you can do is uh, generally we write a query first and then add chart but since I am going to uh, I mean I mean teach you query in the next video so I will not use the queries but the default uh, design for the chart right now and you when you learn query you can uh, more interactively add chart to your form so for example I want to add a simple chart right now I can go to this button called chart drag and drop into my, my form once again drag and drop into my form it will give me a wizard right now I don't have any query so I will not select query but if you have queries then you can select queries or you can select both and I will click next and in here I can choose which column I want to use in my chart so for example I want to use date of birth in my chart I will select this and filter it here 
and I will select next and then I can choose which kind of uh, chart I want. So I want this chart, click next and see the preview of the chart, click next and click finish. You can see here and once you go to the layout view, you will be able to see your form design like this. So in this way you can do many other things in this form. You just need to play with these buttons. For example, you can add a combo box, um, radio buttons, groups and many other things. You just need to play with these icons and see what you can do with these icons. You can add these page numbers also. So just select this and select the format of page number and click OK. It will add the page number to the header. Okay. So I hope you um, you get to know many things uh, to create the form. And I hope you have learned something new this time. In the next video, I will show you how to query the database. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe. And bye for now.